I mean, I'm looking at the screen right now, so I, I'm like making already little judgments about what I'm gonna, about to be seeing. I've heard Scandinavian music, I mean, but also there's a lot of Scandinavian artists that get exported to the United States and then sing in English too. I mean, look at like ABBA's from Stockholm and they, I don't even hear a, an accent there. So there's, there's a, I mean, and there's other just dance music. I think of like Scandinavian export music to us. I mostly think of like dance tracks. So with hip hop, it's so hard to really get appreciation for it unless you understand the lyrics. So I know I won't understand the lyrics. They could be saying the most clever, badass shit with great punchlines, and I probably won't understand what they're saying. So I'm, I'm gonna go like based on first impressions, flow, what the music sounds like. So yeah, press play. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she got good flow. No fucking idea what she's saying. I know the, t the title is Broken Tipsy, so I'm assuming they're rapping about being drunk and broke, but other than that, I don't know. She's got a good stage presence. I like that she shows her armpit hair. That's cool. She doesn't give a fuck about it. Smoking a big blunt. What does that mean? Kobosek? She's got the eyebrow kind of like Frida, Frida Kahlo. As cool as like standards of beauty, it seems like they're, they're like pretty progressive and got you know, a good message that you don't have to look a certain way. Badass. I wish I knew she was saying. It reminds me of that South African hip hop group. God, I can't remember their name, the man and the woman. It reminds me of Diane Twerd a little bit. And it's got that same vibe of like artistic and not give a fuck, middle fingers up. And yeah, like I said with hip hop, I just wish I knew what they were saying, but I like their vibe. I'm not really like, like I don't listen to a lot of club rap where it's like the beat ratchets up and then it's got the drop, the heavy drop. So um, that's not like in terms of the music that I listen to, always the style that I, I'm drawn to in the instrumental, but I like their vibe and I like their flow. I remember what it told me. So many negative energies want to hold me. So many enemies telling me that I'm hopeless. I don't pretend to be anything but roaches. Trying to drag me down like they drag queens. So fake, create hate and bad dreams. But I waste myself up in the attic. I've had it. When it made it happen, I'm rapping. He's rapping in English, so I know what he's talking about. Reminds me of Eminem a little bit. We say I raped the beat. Do you know how it feels? And I get a chance that nobody believes. Walk around like a summer with bills. I'm on the ground, but I sound like a mill. But I will keep what in my plans, cause I ain't sort of a man. I'm 100% and I ain't tougher than them. I can suffer with pain and still stuffing them up and got nothing but busting the bucket is. My hands, my grandmother said you're gonna make it something. That's cool. Yeah, my favorite shot in the video is where he's like dangling by the belt or something. He's spinning around in a circle. I thought that was really cool to see his feet lift up off the ground. It's like, it's it's a little bit, as an American hip hop head coming in and seeing, okay, first I saw one that was all in a language that I didn't understand, and then seeing someone Norwegian rapping in English, it's uh, it's interesting. I, I'm Now that I, I watched the group rap in Swedish, I kind of liked seeing them rap in their own language. It's a pop song, it's a catchy song. It sounds like, like something that could be on the radio for sure. And uh, he's got a good flow. Like, I, don't, I can't think of somebody who it exactly reminds me of. At first I got a little bit of an Eminem vibe from it, but it's not like he's not doing like the same multi-syllable rhymes like Eminem does. I mean, like a lot of rappers, myself included, have their songs about like making it and succeeding and following your dreams and stuff. So I'd be curious to see what his other materials like. It's, it's tough to judge someone on one song. Shit, we black sheep, you get beat on. Statues of me. 
I like that. The this ass of the statue right there. This, the, the, the cinematography of the music video is not as good as the last one. Just the lighting of the last one was really dope. I'm guessing the guy who doesn't rap is the producer. Of all the ones that I watched, the, this, is, this is my favorite musically. I love the sound of it. I like the melody of the chorus. Um, I like it when when you could take those trap drums but not make it just like a pure like turn up trap song. So uh, I like that. I, I like the guitar chords and, and the melody. It's it's my least favorite in terms of like the content and I'll, I'll I gotta put it out there in terms of like what I like is subjective because I'm a rapper who's like when I I rap about a lot of like the opposite kind of stuff in terms of making it and following your dreams. Like I'm not the kind of person who thinks you could be the best or like rise to the top of the game or be the greatest of all time. My stuff's like anti that, you know, seeing how many other people there are out there in the world and then no one person is like the dopest. So when I see like swag rap, it's all about like, you know, it's hard to tell if they're being like jokey a little bit about wanting statues of them and wanting to like be remembered in marble and in a museum. So. I didn't feel like I got as good a sense of them as person as I feel like I got from the vibes of the other group. Even the one that was just in the, it was in Swedish, the first one, right? The one that was in the Swedish language, just by watching them and watching the choices they made about like showing their armpit hair and, and like the way that they presented themselves, I felt like I got a better sense of what made them individuals than what made these guys individuals. It felt a little bit more like just a vibe and like a swagger and stuff like that. Uh, but I like the music a lot of everything I watched. I think my favorite was the first video that we did because it was just some different shit and they were owning it and being themselves and that's the kind of stuff that I'm attracted to. But like I said, the music of this one is really, really dope. I like the melody and I like the sound. Like if I would have heard it and someone would have told me it was an American artist, I might have believed them because I heard more the accent than the Norwegian accent of the previous rapper. But these guys sounded more like some, some just New York accent, you know, like, like they've been studying what a rapper sounded like in the US or they just have really perfect English accents and, you know, maybe English is just, they spoke it at the same time as, uh, you know, their own. So I thought it was cool and I would have definitely not been surprised if I'd heard it in the US. And I, I just, I'm, I'm looking for what sets it apart and makes it its own and, that I think that's why one of the reasons I thought the first one was dope too is because you're rapping in your own language. Uh, I just felt like I understood a little bit about what they were all about and like what they represented. They it was like kind of a cross between like Die Antwoord and like M.I.A. and I thought that was super dope. 